most beautiful show on earth. Here it is. It's great. They're about 2,000 feet above the lake. Think about it. We're looking at the biggest lava lake on the planet here. The lava lake in Hawaii now, for example, is not even a quarter of that. Look, the fountain is starting up. Of the 600 active volcanoes on our planet, there are only four permanent lava lakes. We know that Nuragongo has existed since 1927 at least. It's probably much older than that, but up until that point, no one had actually ever seen the lava lake. Certain accounts describe a reddish glow at the western end of the Virunga chain, but gave no further details. Arun Taziev, was the one who made this volcano famous. No one had ever heard of it before he came along. Like others, he discovered Nuragongo through Taziev's films. The first expedition was Taziev in 1958. He came here a lot. Taziev is the only one who organized expeditions that went down to the edge of the lava lake. They were large-scale expeditions with heavy material. They had winches. They did trips over several weeks. Miragongo wasn't always a volcano with a lava lake. It's a stratovolcano. So when it was born, it was an explosive volcano. It was built up through explosions that ejected materials such as projectiles, ash, and lava. That was at the start of its formation, when the rift opened. We don't know how long this lava lake will last. Volcanology is a new science, and unfortunately, there are still many questions we can't answer. At about 5 or 10 meters above this level of the lake, there's a sort of small black beach. From time to time, the lake rises and spills over onto this beach. The last time I came, that's what was happening. The level varied 30 to 40 meters. If the lava lake rose, there would probably be seismic activity. What happens before a lava lake starts rising, and above all, while it's rising, is that all the walls of the crater vibrate. The risk is always there. You have to keep it in mind, okay? Okay. 